As an actor and comedian, Jubilus Tracy has certainly given his audiences many happy moments. So when we heard that wedding bells were about to ring for him and his partner, Jan Louis, we knew that happiness had come his way. Generous as always, Jubilus invited us to join him and Jan as they prepared for the nuptials and then at the ceremony itself. Sit back for something special. A human chameleon, if ever there was one, Jubilus Tracy switches effortlessly between his professions as a communication specialist and comedian and the various characters he's created. Don't get cheeky with me. The role of restaurateur can now be added to this list and Jubilus was busy at the counter when Karishma arrived. Jubilus Tracy is no stranger to the limelight and he's about to take center stage in the biggest production of his life. I'm about to get all the details. Hi, Jubilus. Hi, Karishma. Welcome to Mela. Thank you for coming through. Jubilus, it's such an exciting time in your life and we have so much to talk about. Now, I love all the details, so I want to start right at the beginning. I have my coffee. Let me get you one and then we can get the detail. Leroy, another one, please. Jubilus's coffee shop has become a favorite haunt of sweet toothed Stellenbosch residents, and the confectionery is a major attraction. Thank you. Jubilus, what was your childhood like? I grew up in a small town in northern KZN, Ladysmith, and my childhood was filled with wonderful memories. I was raised by my grandmother, and I found that when I left for university, I was quite a well rounded young man and that set the tone for a very, very bright future for me. And when did you know you wanted to become a comedian and a performer? I always participated in our school plays and I just loved being on stage. And then also being part of the church play groups and drama groups, I think it just stuck with me and it became my passion. I do believe congratulations are in order as you're about to get married. How were you feeling just days before the wedding? Excited and a little nervous, I must be very honest with you. What for you is the essence of a wedding? That love connection and the theme of our wedding is one love life, one love. What was your first impression of Louis? I just found him to be very gentle and very humble. I think that humility really appealed to me and also this very soft, giving nature. He grounds me to a great extent. Now, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I have to ask who proposed. <laughs> Louis did. Here he comes now, this guy here. Hi, Louis. Hi, Krishma. Well, I'm going to leave you with him. I'm going to do the dishes. You can ask him whatever you want. Louis, please tell me, how were you feeling just days before the wedding? A little bit nervous, but I think the nervousness is more excitement of what's lying ahead for the rest of our future. What was your first impression of Jubilus when you met? My first impression of Jubilus was what a lovely young boy, but very cold and snobbish. And how did that evolve? With getting to know him a little bit more and looking in his eyes, it's the warmth coming from there. His humbleness, his generosity. He always wanted to help everyone around him. It was like I was melting his heart and he just became a warm and more handsome day by day. You listen, now that you're here, I can ask who made the first move? Well, you saw he put his hand on my knee first. So. And I got the number first. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for a, a few times and then eventually I gave in and I gave him my number. Did you say that your story is serendipitous in that you were always meant to be together and always knew that you wanted to be together? It started off as a friendship and it developed into this love connection. We found that there were so many common goals, relationship goals, personal goals, and there was such a nice overlap that it almost happened organically. It wasn't calculated in any way. And I think now, yes, we are like, we can't live without one another. Now, what are you both most passionate about? Cooking and baking. Some of us like to cook more than we like to eat, and others like to eat more than we like to cook. <laughs> now, I believe you're both so passionate about baking that you're even baking your own wedding cake. I know, a lot of our friends are saying, are you absolutely crazy? Why would you put yourself to that? But we just, uh, we're very hands-on, and we decided we bake, so why not? Take the plunge and bake your own wedding cake. Well, Louis, I'd love for you to show me some of the elements, if that's possible. Yes, I can show you some. A few moments later, Jubilus and Jan Louis were demonstrating their well-oiled teamwork in the kitchen. Look, you better be too big. 
there's quite a few elements to this cake. There's two tiers at the bottom. There's a coconut and almond layer, which is my favorite recipe. And then on top of that, we have a carrot cake. On the top of those tiers, we have a chocolate truffle and macaroon tower. Who is better in the kitchen? Depending on what, cleaning or cooking. <laughs> I'm the better cook and Yubilis is the better cleaner. Who's going to be walking you down the aisle? My godmother is going to be walking me down the aisle and it's very, very special because she's 70 this year and we have a very close bond. My mother is going to walk me down the aisle. She's 60 years old. Now you're going to have some very special guests at your wedding. I think Louis' grandmother is one of our very special guests. She's 86 years old. And then our mutual bestie, Jayla Shlinaidu. She is our MC and she's our maid of honor. Camps Bay was bathed in sunshine when the big day arrived, providing a picture-perfect backdrop for a garden wedding. Transforming the scenic outdoor location into an exquisite wedding venue meant attending to a thousand details with a little love hustled into each and every item. With the ceremony only a few hours away, it was time to pop the first cock of the day. Guys, thank you so much for being part of this day and we thank you for your love and your support and for being constant in our life. Cheers! While the guests took their seats, the stars of the show donned their nuptial finery before taking center stage. Eubulus walked down the aisle accompanied by his godmother, Priscilla Murray. Society is going to identify you as a married couple from this day onward. A foundation on which you are now going to start building the house that is your marriage. Will you have this man to be your husband, to live together as a married couple? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? I marry you and join my life with yours. With the formalities complete, Eubulus and Jan Louis could enjoy their first moments as a married couple, surrounded by loving relatives and friends. All the preparations had been taken care of, but the cakes still had to be assembled, and the bakers weren't going to entrust the job to any hands but their own. While the magnificent tower of confectionery stood for the guests to admire, the couple slipped away with the photographers to catch light of the golden hour. With pink on the horizon and a golden glow indoors, the palette was color matched to the festive occasion, and some Bollywood fun set the mood. Then it was time for special messages of love, advice, and a little gentle roasting. Today, Eubulus got his dream wedding. He always wanted to be married at the Twelve Apostles. He's also married to his dream partner. It shows the rest of us mere mortals that dreams do in fact come true. May your troubles be less, and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. I will all of you put two wings with the pot for two. Louis and Yubi, your union is an example that love exists, it's beautiful, and with time, investment, and patience, it can be realized. There's some people that you meet and you instantly click. There is an instant connection. And I think that is best how I can describe my relationship with Yubis. He is way more than a friend. He's my best friend. He's my brother. He's my family. And I can't even begin to tell any single one of you just how much I love him. The theme today is one life, one love. They just complement each other. They were kind-hearted, compassionate, amazing human beings. They're solid and they're generous and they're authentic. This wedding has been incredible. The food was amazing, the love we shared. There were tears that fell, lots and lots of laughter, lots of dancing. And today was like this perfect day that God planned 
for two just most amazing people. We are what we are by the grace of God and we value love is another one of us, love for all. Love, thank you for each and every moment you spend together. It is such a wonderful time. Um, I love you and I will never stop loving you. Uh, this is the most wonderful day for me to witness for you, Bless, because he's my godchild. And I'm very proud of him today, and I'm blessed that I could be here. I think that all that matters at the heart of it is the love that these two people have for each other. Thank you, Jubilus and Jan Louis, for sharing your wedding day with us, and we wish you many happy years together.